Hi everybody, today in math class we worked on finding the distance on the coordinate plane and we learned that to find the distance between points that lie on the same horizontal line or the same vertical line, we use the same strategy that we use to find the distance between points on a number line. So let's go ahead and do these four examples. A couple things we have to focus in on. Each of the points we have to decide if they land on a vertical or a horizontal line. And if they do, we need to find the length of the line segment that joins the two points. And if not, we have to be able to explain how we know the points are not on the same horizontal or vertical line. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with letter A. We have two coordinates, 0, negative 2, and 0, 9. Right away, I'm looking and I can see that the x coordinate is both 0. So if the x-coordinate is both 0, that means that it has to be a vertical line because it doesn't move to the left or right at all. It stays on 0. So from here, I can see that 0, negative 2 would go down 2 and 0, 9 would go up to 9. So when we're looking at it and you make a quick one, I can see that this is the absolute value is just 2 away from 0. And when I look at the other, here, a real quick look, it's 9 units away from 0. So when we think about our absolute value, my absolute value of 9 is 9. So I've got 9 above 0, 2 below 0, and therefore, this is on a vertical line, and 9, or sorry, 11 units apart. 9 plus 2 will give me 11 units apart. So the next one, I have 11, 4, and 2, 11. The first thing I'm going to do is look at my coordinates. And here, the x coordinates, one's an 11, one's a 2, so th th that's not the same. Now I'm going to look at my y coordinate. There's a 4 and 11. So in this case, neither the x or the y coordinate are the same. And if the points do not are, are not the same, they will not lie on the same horizontal or vertical line because they don't share a common x or y coordinate. So looking at letter C, I have 3, negative 8, and 3, negative 1. My first thing I'm going to do is look for a common coordinate. So here it looks like, just like the other one, we have a 3 that's in common for the x coordinate. And if the x coordinate, both of them move 3 to the right, the y coordinate is going to determine if it either just moves up or down. So right away then, I know that my line is going to be a vertical line. It's going to be an up-down line because the y coordinate is going to tell me that. So if I take a look, in this case, I've moved to the right 3 for both of those ordered pairs. And once I've moved to the right, 1, 2, 3, then it says move down to negative 8. So 3, negative 8 would be about right here and 3, negative 1 would be about right here. So I'm looking at a negative 1 and a negative 8 to find the distance in between. Now, in this case, they're on the same side of 0. So the other one, we had to find the absolute value to find out how far that they were apart and their distance away from 0. This one, they're in the same quadrant. So starting at negative 1, to get to negative 8, I really just have to find the distance between the 8 and the 1. And so I can do 8 minus 1 with their absolute values, and they are 7 units apart. The last problem I have is negative 4, negative 4, and the other ordered pair is 5, negative 4. So on this one, we're looking for a common x or y value, and this one has a y value that's the same. So I know it's going to land on a vertical, the vertical or the horizontal axis. So if you've noticed, 
A and C both had a common X factor, and therefore the Y, which moves up and down, made that plot a vertical line. This is going to be just opposite. So on this one, we know that it's going to end up making a horizontal line. The first number either moves right or left on the x-axis, and the second number is telling us that we're going to land at a negative 4 when we move down. So I'm going to just use my same basic one I have over here. Knowing I'm going to move left or right on my x-axis first, the first number is negative 4. So if I move over negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 would be here. And then from negative 4, I'd go down negative 4. So about right here. The second number, I move to the right 5, or the second ordered pair, move to the right 5, and then down 4. So they're 4 below 0. Each of them are 4 below 0. And I have to find the distance between these two points on that number line, that horizontal line. Well, what do I know? I know that this was at negative 4, negative 4. And I know that this one is 5, negative 4. So we're looking at the absolute value. How far is this away from 0? It is 5 units from 0. How far is this one away from 0 in the negatives? It went negative 4, so the absolute value is 4. So to get the total distance of the line, I have 4 plus 5, which means I have a total of 9 units for that line segment. So I hope these examples help you when you're doing some practice. And just remember, make a difference today.